the alarm is on and it's time for the kingdom age love hope and joy and peace that will come from understanding the word of god's promise rock solid promise to all of us that the lord has now given mankind so it's time to come full circle and it's time to hoist up the rose of sharon for that the brotherhood of his love is what will change this earth. Uh, imagine lily of the valley all over the circle of the earth and rose of Sharon. There is none more beautiful for that is Christ the Lord, Isa Yeshua Jesus. He is our beloved love. He is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored, the only, the just, the the sovereign of all sovereigns. He is our majesty of majesties. So get ready to blast off because uh, I'm going to be cluing you into a few things that people have not rightly understood. And so it's time to get with new understandings of old revelation. And it's time to let love become a flame like never before, because people at the end of the day, we got to wake up. It's time for the harvest of love. And we must understand that the first is last and the last is first. Take a look at this. This is the uh, new uh, Jerusalem. If I can show you, you can see it there on uh, that is uh, the first our last and last our first. And that is a picture of uh, New Jerusalem taken on the edge of our solar system by Hubble telescope. So get with that program and realize that even though it was one of the last things in the Bible, it is yet one of the first things to be revealed for us because of the truth that the first is last and that the last is first. So it's time to move things around accordingly, and it's time to celebrate our love of the ages, which comes only by our Lord. And it's time to let that alarm sound so that all may arise and praise God that the, the Lord has made provisions so that we can see the heck where we're going and so that love will come forth in a new way for us. So let us always celebrate that. And uh, it's very special for one and all of us. And you got to have discernment. You got to be able to hear what the Spirit is saying um, in this world. Um, Bruce Lee said it best, take what's good, leave what's bad. Don't. <laughs> uh, concerning prophecy at this channel, I talk about a lot of prophecy and I'm connecting dots like crazy. And the main consensus of opinion out there is don't listen to prophecy. Just ignore it. Just don't do it. Alan uh, Parr, God bless him, off the beat, uh, made a video. Oh, uh, anyone who's obsessed with prophecy, don't listen to it. What happened to what the Bible says of things concerning prophecy that all must be examined most carefully and all that's good embraced? What about what Muhammad said? Uh, he said to all people of the book and all people of love, he says, no one has any ground to stand upon unless they stand upon the law, the gospel, and all prophecy, all revelation coming from the Lord. And in the restoration of all things, people like Alan Parr think that you can restore all things without new uh, revelation. I don't know what planet some of these people are growing up, but they are false teachers and false witnesses. Ignore them if you want to be smart. But anyone that's pointing towards love, we must go in that direction or else there won't be no direction to go into at all. And the Lord is, is roaring louder than ever before. And we need to hear his voice anew. And uh, so know that the word of re reliability 
came unto uh, one named Fletcher of Adenach concerning the global vision of the Lord's in time latter day messenger, uh, the strong and mighty one, uh, the writer foretold the revelator of the end time, line by line, precept by precept, as a destroying storm, because I've got the appointment of Jeremiah one ten and Haggai two two, the God our carpenter of the ages, when he restores, he wants stuff torn down first, so that no more will we be looking through a glass darkly, only knowing in part, so that we might shine as the stars, fearfully and wonderfully as we were created to be in Daniel 12, and that the Lord is now sending forth his latter-day covenant to all mankind, and Mormons got that one right. They said that turning the hearts of the fathers to the children, children to the fathers, would be done by the covenant of God. And uh, no one else had that one right. And uh, so it, it's time that uh, we look to the tribulation age, but no more let us look at it with shock and, and fear because God is saying in these latter days, I will return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if my people will give me the desire of my heart which is born of love. That's why behind me I have the United Nations flag because we are, have now been united by him and he is our love of the ages. And know that, uh, that uh, the Lord's secrets have now been unveiled. The mystery of God of Revelation 10.7 is over. And I am the Lord's chosen alcoholic Elijah of Genesis 49, 12, whose eyes are red and dull of wine. The alcoholic chosen of Zechariah 3 that would bring forth the flying scroll, the writing of uh, the flying scroll of Zechariah 5. The alcoholic of Habakkuk 2's vision. The vision was written for the appointed time at the end, and God promises it shall come to pass. You can behold his soul. It might not be upright, but the just will live by his faith, even though he's transgressed by wine. The alcoholic that was foretold to arise as a Isaiah from the north, Isaiah 41. And to whom Israel, the messenger, I am the messenger of God unto Israel, that they have inherited all mankind, uh, Isaiah 54, 3. And that is why they are called uh, Chrislam now. Isaiah 62, 2, God foretold they would have a new kingdom age name because now they have inherited all of his, uh, uh, all Christians and all uh, Jews into their, um, or not Jews, Islamics into their numbers. So uh, know that the renowned seer of God's secrets, uh, also one of them was Muhammad. And the Lord came forth unto Muhammad in the Hadith. And he came forth in the spirit, uh, and he accurately prophesied everything that will soon be sweeping through the world and through uh, Islam. And he said there will never be another important prophet in the head uh, ahead of us. And he was right. It was always Jeremiah uh, 30, uh, 31, 33 to 35. The only main needed, the main kingdom age prophet was Jeremiah. I am just the messenger of Jeremiah, the messenger who prepares the Lord's way with his message of Jeremiah to the world. And so praise God, it's time for the, the Lord's uh, wonderment to be released in a, a new and mighty way. And with an eye-opening hadith translated by Ibn Babawaya, that son of Arabia, Muhammad, then foretold the approaching days when he said this. He said, there will come a time for people when nothing will remain of the Quran except its outward form and nothing of Islam except its name. And they will call themselves by a similar name, which will be Chrislam. But that son of Medina also stressed that the last spiritual leader would prepare earth universally while establishing the Imams purest faith of the Lord's highest praises, for he has revealed himself to be uh, all merciful, and uh, that God would uh, prove himself, and that all the distortions 
would be removed when God reveals his mercy and proves his mercy for all people. In another hadith from Abu David 141, Muhammad foretold the actions of the Lord's servant of the restoration. And he, Muhammad said this in the hadith, in the beginning, that judge, uh, the Elijah, the last Elijah, would be like a poor and glorious stranger. And Islam will be in a hopeless and powerless state as the rest of the world is. Similar to a, an exhausted camel with its head hung low. and But that final mess, messenger shall then restore the kingdom of God throughout the whole world. The Elijah task of the whole world arising to see that God has always been unconditional love over one and all of us and always has been a God of total equality of love and that all those who love are born of him and know him because he is love, 1 John 4, 7. And Muhammad said that all this will happen while giving indisputable evidence of God's overflowing mercy. And the most exciting at all of all, the, the, that prophet uh, Muhammad additionally stressed the end time truth that th that person at the end of the lar would have the largest written message of the Most High would bring forth a brand new order and a new book divine. Now I have written the everlasting gospel foretold for in Revelation 14, the flying scroll of Zechariah 5, but I'm, I tell you truly, verily, verily, only the book of Jeremiah 31, that chapter in particular, is the only important book to this whole world. And that founder of Islam also said, and I tell you truly, when he spoke, he was talking not only to all people of the crescent moon, but of all people that bow down unto our beloved love of the ages under our actual moon. And these are the days of God pouring out his spirit of love upon all flesh. And the founder of Islam said as well that as his successor, and really I'm the successor of for all faiths on earth, that, that um, for ri ruins of rituals of ignorance, that I would lead the Lord's faithful few into all revealed secrets. He said the mystery of God is what was over Revelation 10, 7. So he was on the same page with Hebrews 8, um, Paul writing that when the words come, I will be your God, you will be my people, that all faith will be obsolete on earth. And same as Baba Vanga, the prophetess said, and uh, all religion will collapse and then taking its place would be the brotherhood of like the Rose of Sharon and the Lily of the Valley covering the earth and the uh, spirituality of loving your neighbor as yourself. And the, Muhammad said, then he will lead those of all religions back to their original base teachings so that spiritual distortions will all exist no more. Only then will true sanctity be restored, said Muhammad. And it came about before Muhammad was called into glory. He stressed that even before God created the creation, he decreed for himself. He said, indeed, my mercy prevails over my anger. And that was his message to, to the world through Muhammad. And it is true that God is all merciful. He is the beneficent. He is the magnificent. Will you hear him roar louder than ever before calling your name as if you were the only one? I hope you will. But only I alone have come to see that love will prevail over all foolishness of faith. And faith has had much foolishness. And nor should the world ever ignore the living word of Isaiah 47, 25. For Isaiah accurately predicted thousands of years ago the emergence of the Lord's forerunner as being from a maple land which has been colder than many nations. For it is written uh, of one from the north, 
I will raise him up from the north, and he will come. From sunrise he will call my name, and uh, trample sovereigns like dirt, and tread them as a potter kneads the clay. It is written that the teaching of Elijah will be on all the leaders of the earth as, as uh, mortar is upon the bricks of the nations. And uh, for Christ's fire of his restoration is burning, the re restorative refiner's fire of love, instead of uh, uh, copper, will have brass, heart, and instead of silver, they'll become gold. Instead of gold, they'll become platinum. And instead of platinum, they're going to become like shiny diamond. And so praise the Lord that the faithful few of our Lord's mercy should never pass over any hopeful word given by anyone that is preaching love. And yet people want to embrace the darkness of not hearing about new hope, new understandings of love. And so praise the Lord that uh, there will be one single world religion of, of love, and that is the end of it. And it will be based on the direct inspiration from the Almighty. And it will include his everlasting covenant that has always been over all mankind, so that all people, the hearts of the fathers, can turn to the children, children can turn to the fathers, their hearts, and unite all of the highest concepts of all past religion. But the Lord says, but um, he will have much more uh, comprehensive understanding of love spirituality because of enlightenment necessary to restore all things. And who will come and feed the master's household of meat while the master is away? Christ asked in Matthew 24. So I'm preaching some meat. And this is the channel of the, 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 the meat of God on the mountain of Isaiah 25. The feast is here. Uh, because the world's banquets have gone rotten. And anyone not embracing what I'm preaching at this channel can get a shit pie, as Malachi 2 said. Anyone not glorifying our beloved love of the ages. And that is what needs to happen, people. So praise the Lord and know that the wise need to also listen to the word of uh, uh, love for the messenger will come, it is written, will come and change life, and a successor will be admitted to the prop, prophet's inheritance, and then joy shall burn in his heart as a fire. And so the cry of prophecy says this, says the Spirit. Well, it'll sound off from heaven, and the resonating uh, sound of love through our rising son of truth, Emmanuel, God with us again in the flesh soon. He will give the interpretation of prophecies so that the world will come to see that where truth is and where the quagmire of stink is within all religions so that we can discern between the two. Keep the good, have a loving spirituality and, and down with bad religion that's condemning and judgmental and hypocritical. And know that when the book opens, then shall come the lightest, brightest light of love, and all falsehoods of faith and love shall immediately come to an end. So praise the Lord, and know that our beloved love of the ages, who is our love, that we need to uh, get some duct tape, that's my advice, and just stick it to your head so that we won't remember or we won't fail to remember or put it in your pocket and always have love around you because at the end of the day people it's never been about what we've done for him but what he has done for us he was slain before the foundation of the earth for all flesh and he loves all people equally and born again has never been to believe. It's only been to keep your love alive. So be as a little child. Leave the land of the walking dead. Have not a form of godliness. And deny the power of love whom God is. Uh, and come alive. And it's time to race towards the finish line of the kingdom ages beginning. Where all men will be seen as equal before our beloved Lord. 
as long as we keep our love light on and commit not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. And uh, let me just get a time check here, uh, a few more minutes. So I'm going to say just a few more things. And uh, it's time that the world would come and uh, have crystal clarity. In the 5,000-year-old Vedas of India, it foretold that the last messenger would restore righteousness on earth and the minds of God's people of love would then awake and become crystal clear. And then after multitudes are enlightened, they would become as seeds for the future generations living in the golden kingdom during the age of purity when, when we will let the fire of God's love shine ever so brightly uh, because that will be the age of uh, purity. Uh, at the door even now and it's time that um, uh, the prophecy of Zoroaster of Zoroasterist must be heard too he foretold that the spiritual forerunner Elijah of the Lord would be called a savior and a world restorer who will point to earth's Messiah uh, just as Isaiah 49 that whole chapter is of Elijah, one who would do everything in vain, verse 4. That was never Christ. And in well-doing, uh, Zoroaster said he would also be opposing all hostility caused by all religious people. And it was also predicted that genuine knowledge would then be exalted unto all mankind and that wisdom all over the shrinking circle of earth would come and line up with the with the uh, the plumbers uh, the the plumb line of Amos for our carpenter of the ages so the walls of love might be made straight and the wise seeking wisdom shall therefore google the great white brotherhood for concerning that great multitude of Revelation 7 that ancient prophecy says that due to the message of love from that prophet of God's compassion, that people from every race and religion of, of the world will come together finally as they all turn towards fighting together against every hindrance, keeping humanity locked in a place of subtle religious bigotry and hatred, spiritual racism that's so prevalent. Of, it's caused by the factories of uh, obsolete religion that um, causes nothing but resentment to come forth in this world. Uh, so you want to know why uh, 300,000 Christians are being slaughtered needlessly? Uh, at least a dozen have been slaughtered during while I made this, this video. It's because they're pointing at everybody and they're getting stuff cut off. And it's because people haven't understood that God's love is the same for all of us. And until we get uh, on that page, we're going to have nothing but uh, but p the pain of uh, hatred uh, raising its ugly head. So it's time to get rid of all the all the uh, craziness in this world, and it's time to get along. So I ask you to listen to the sound of the world of the alarm of God, as God is telling all of us, it is time. It is time to raise your hands to heaven and to lift up love amongst all people, amongst all tribes, and then shall come the Messiah.